live from New York City, I guess I should say. This gentleman is joining us on set here at the Oklahomans Video uh, Studio. It's Brooks Landegger playing Billy Elliot in Billy Elliot, which is over at the Civic Center Music Hall. It runs through Saturday Lyric Theater production. Sir, it's very nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping by today. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Well, last night was opening night. How mm. was it? It went very well. It was, it came together very quickly. Yeah? And I'm very happy. <laughs> How was the crowd reaction? I think they were really happy. And they clapped a lot. And, and how was your reaction being on that Civic Center stage? What did you think of the Civic Center stage? It was big. Like, looking out, it was fun. Like, when I was flying, there was this one that I just go really high up. That was a lot of fun, just seeing everyone. Because it was, like, bright in the audience. You could see everyone. Now, now, when you say Civic Center uh, Auditorium was big, what are you comparing that to? Just in general, I think. Because I have performed with New York City Ballet at the Coke Theater. They have a very big theater as well. I never like look at the audience as much. Sure. But like on that grand sweep, I just saw them all and it was awesome. Well, was that's kind of cool. Say. A different experience for you. Yeah. Well, let's talk about how did you get here? How did you get to Oklahoma City from New York City? <laughs> I dance at Shuffles, Tap, New York City, and Musical Theater School. And their musical theater director, Cindy Steelherod, who is directing a bunch of shows at Poteet, congratulated Ashley. And she was like, it's good, but we don't have a Billy. So she was like, do you have one? And then she responded, yeah, if you want. And I sent in a video. And then they said yes, and now I'm here. Well, that's really cool. So how old are you, Brooks? 12. You're 12 years old. When did you first start dancing? I started ballet at the School of American Ballet at six. At six. And I started tap and musical theater at Shuffles at seven. And what's your favorite? What, what are you most drawn to? Ballet, I think. And, and the story of Billy Elliot here is he was going to boxing class or whatever, decided he liked ballet better. And of course, there's a whole lot of drama and storyline involved there. Is that something similar? Instead of playing basketball, you're like, I like basketball just fine, but I like ballet. Well, I think I started so young because my sister had a, was in like a baby mommy and me class and I had a play date and my play date canceled and I went to her class and I was speechless. And at the end my mom was like, how did you like it? I was like, I loved it. How come there weren't any boys in the class? And she said, because it's an all girls class. And then I was like, mommy, can I do ballet? And she was like, okay, like I'm a four year old boy. You want to do karate, you want to do everything. Sure, sure. And, and then and like today it's ballet, tomorrow it'll be something else. Yeah. But and then like a month later I asked her again and she was like, wow. You still want to do this. So then she signed me up and there I am. <laughs> so what do you do in New York City for fun? There's not really much time. I go to school, go to ballet, go to tap, then normally have rehearsal or do my homework depending on the season and then go to sleep. Now, is this your first summer on the road to actually go on a theater production on the road, touring, or have you done this before? This is my first musical theater production ever. Yeah? So, I've gone to like ballet sound programs, but it's my first. Did you have any expectations coming into this, thinking oh, this is gonna be X, and then last night was, was Y, it was completely different, or is it about what you thought it would be, only now we're actually doing this? It was better than I could have ever imagined. It's just been such a dream, and I'm so happy I'm here. Well, very cool. What do you think of the Oklahoma people? They're so nice. Yeah. <gasps> Everyone here is so nice and so helpful, and they're just trying to help me in any way I can. Now, is most of the cast, or a lot of the cast, about your age? Um, the ballet girls range from, like, 9 to 17, and... Michael's 15, and one of the other tall boy is 13. So, I'm like around there. And then the rest of the cast is either college students. Sure, the, the adult yeah. part of the storyline. Uh, but that's kind of cool that you get to relate to uh, some people, you know, some peers perhaps somewhat in your age range. Yeah. Very cool. So what's next for you? What, what do you want to do when you grow up, or what do you want to do next? Because no one ever really grows up. You just <sighs> find new things to explore. I think I want to be a ballet dancer as yep. of now. It's my passion and I want to follow them. Any particular uh, 
ballet dancer, ballerina that you that you fo follow, that you admire, Misty Copeland or somebody like that? Um, really everyone at New York City Ballet. <laughs> yeah. I love New York City Ballet. Now, uh, did I read this right? You have performed at the Met? Yes. How was that? It's fun. It's, it's just big like this and like the Coke Theater. And I didn't really like, it's mostly just like smiling and walking around and like just acting roles. But playing the role of smiling kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> Or, yeah, like a village boy, just. Sure. But what great experience, though, to be able to yeah. soak up that atmosphere. Yeah, it's And so then, frankly, to even be in the background role so that you can kind of look around and enjoy it and say, yeah, actually, I want to be up there at the front of the stage. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing, just all of that. I've had so many great experiences, and I'm so thankful for them. Last time I was in New York City, I walked by the Met. They have one of those black tie affairs going on inside. I've never been inside the Met, but it looked like a really, really cool place. Yeah, it's the theater is so beautiful. Like, well, uh, one last question for you on Billy Elliot again. Uh, Lyric Theater production over at the Civic Center Music Hall. Tickets start at twenty-five dollars. The show runs through Saturday with this guy, Brooks Landigan. What can people expect when they go to see? Aside from you flying around, apparently. <sighs> a lot of dancing, a lot of singing, an accent from northeastern. Yeah, big northeastern, north, northeastern, northeastern <laughs> accent, right? Yes, and an inspiring show, I think. Yeah. Because it's about a boy who wants to follow his dreams and has the opportunity to do so, even though he has a tough. Like his community is going through a tough time. Community is going through a tough time. The miners there, I believe, and then of course the family. There's the, the education, the enlightenment as they kind of uh, make their changes as well. Yeah. Very cool. Brooks Landigan, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> plays Billy Elliot again. Runs through Saturday at the Civic Center Music Hall. Thanks for your time, Jamie. Appreciate it. Thank you.